Hey everyone, Giselle here, and today I'm here to share with you my 2016 reading reflections and just reflections on the year in general, and also my 2016 reading stats. At the end of this video will be a section that I put together as well, which will show all the books that I read and what star readings I gave them for the year if you were interested in looking at that, and then you can ask me any questions about them that you want in the comments to hear further thoughts, but just so you know, I did edit it myself. Christopher did not make it for me. I made it myself, although he probably ended up editing the section that you're seeing. So yeah, anyway, let's get on to my 2016 goals. My first goal for 2016 was to read 100 books, which I accomplished. My second goal was to read whatever I wanted so as to avoid reading slumps, which I also feel like I did pretty well. I got in three slumps throughout the year, one in January, one in July, and one in November. So they were pretty well spread out. The one in January, I did end up finishing four books in January. The one in July, I did end up finishing four books in July, and November was the only month I did not finish any books this year. <laughs> so January and July ended up being the months that I finished the least amount of books, besides November, where I didn't finish any books, unfortunately, although I did read a little bit that month. I just didn't end up completing anything. So I feel like I accomplished this goal pretty well, and I'm happy with my ends that I got from that, and reading what I wanted really did help a lot. I discovered new genres that I'd never read before and I discovered things that I really loved. I discovered a lot of authors I loved and I just read whatever the heck I wanted whenever I wanted and it was such a great weight off my shoulders and it was just so much fun and I really really loved that a lot. My third goal for 2016 was to do more buddy reads which I also feel like I accomplished a lot. I ended up doing 26 buddy reads. It really does does help to be married to a reader where we will listen to books together or I'll read books out loud to him or we'll read a book within like a week of each other because one person will inspire the other one to and then we will talk about it so it's like practically buddy read since we both read books in about one to two days each so we did several of those but also I did a lot with other people here on booktube and it was just very very fun in general so 26 buddy reads in total which is crazy that's more than two a month and I'm ridiculously happy with that and then I also did end up participating in seven book club reads as well so I didn't actually talk to anybody one-on-one -on -one about them but still that's a lot of buddy reads and book club reads for the year and I'm really really happy and pleased with that number. My fourth and final goal for 2016 was to complete the 16 series on my 16 series I wanted to complete in 2016 list and I did not accomplish this unfortunately. I really wanted to but I just didn't have interest in the series and since making that I have decided I don't care about some of the series or that I want to restart them or whatever. So I did not technically complete that, but I did end up completing 16 series in the year. So I'm really, really pleased with that. And although it is not the original 16 series I wanted to read, I did still complete 16 series. So I'm really happy with that and I'm counting this goal completed. And I did end up finishing, I think, three of the series that I've been really meaning to for a long time that were on that list. So I feel accomplished with that and I'm marking this one as completed. So now to talk about the stats that I had for 2016. I ended up reading 157 books, so completing my goal 157%, which I'm very happy with. Out of those books, I ended up DNFing 22 of them, which means that excluding DNFs, I read 135 books, which I'm more than enthusiastic about. I'm so happy with that number, and it's more than at the beginning of the year what I could have imagined of getting through. Seven of the books ended up being picture books, or I think there were also two graphic novels. So excluding DNFs and picture books, I ended up reading 127 novels and nonfiction works, which again, so happy with. So much more than I could have imagined. Um, 36 of the books in total, including DNFs, ended up being rereads for me, which means that 121 of them were new to me books, which 
I'm really pleased with. I read so many new things to me and got to reread a lot as well. Excluding DNF'd pages, I'm not counting pages that I didn't read. I ended up reading 45,627 pages in 2016. Roughly, I did have to guesstimate a little bit on that, and my average length of book ended up being 338 pages, which I'm really happy about. Uh, anything over 100 pages a day is beyond my wildest dreams, so super happy with that stat. My average rating for the books ended up being a 3, which I'm not surprised by, honestly, because I did read a lot of 1, 2, and 3 star books this year, but 3 stars is a good rating for me, so I'm happy with this. Breaking down the stats even more, out of all the books that I read, 17 of them were 5 star reads, with 3 of them being new to me, which means 14 of them were rereads. 42 of the books that I read were 4 star books, with 28 of them being new to me, and 14 of them being rereads. 41 books were 3 stars, with 39 of them being new to me, and 2 being rereads. I read 32 two-star books, with 28 of them being new to me and 4 of them being rereads. And I read 25 one-star books, with 23 of them being new to me and 2 of them being rereads. So I feel like overall with that, I really tend to love the things that I'm rereading. I'm rereading them for a purpose, usually because I know that I love them, and then the two books that I ended up giving one star to, I DNF'd, and I didn't like them the first time I read them either, and was just trying to give them a second chance. And they obviously didn't deserve it. And out of all the books that I read in 2016, 38 of them ended up being fairy tale retellings for my fairy tale project that I've been working on for almost a year now, and I'm also really pleased with that. So all in all, I'm really pleased with my reading for 2016. I feel like besides just reading a vast quantity of books and things like that, I became a better reader this year. I became a better reviewer. I was able to put my thoughts into words a lot more eloquently, which again, being married to a reader really helps with. Even though Christopher doesn't care about a lot of the books that I'm talking about, he cares about my opinions on them, so I was able to talk to him sometimes for hours about books that he honestly would never read, but I was able to get my thoughts in order and talk about them and have conversations about them even though he hadn't read that and that really helped me a lot as a reviewer and helped me put my words into reviews a lot better on both on Goodreads and on my channel. That is probably the thing that I feel most accomplished about for 2016 was that I was just I became a better reader and reviewer and I know what I like and I know what I don't like now and that just makes reading a lot better because I know now if I'm not enjoying a book a lot better than I did a few years ago and I tend to write things a lot more harshly just because a lot of things just don't deserve the higher ratings in my opinion. The way my rating scale works is that if something gets a three star, I'm happy that I read it and I liked it and I'm pleased with it and four stars means I really liked it a lot and then five stars means I loved it and I'm really happy that I gave so many three, four, and five star reviews this year and the two and one star books that I read really did help me grow as a reader even if I did not enjoy the books themselves and those were the books that I tended to have the most to say about because I would get so frustrated with them so even though I did not enjoy the experience of reading them I enjoyed being able to talk about them afterwards. Some non-bookish highlights that I have that are still book related. My number one, of course, being that I got married in 2016, which was absolutely incredible. I got married to the love of my life, who is a fellow book lover, and I could not be more overjoyed about it, and I love him so much, so that was definitely the biggest, most exciting thing that happened in 2016 for me. Another huge highlight of the year was being able to document that on the vlog and just the vlog in general. We did end up losing a few days, but Christopher and I in total ended up vlogging 366 days of the year. And although 18 of those vlogs will never see the light of day because the computer crashed and lost them, we are so happy with that number and we are so happy that we were able to do it. And the conversations and friends that arose from the vlog channel was incredible and we're definitely going to be continuing it in 2017 because we both love it so much. Another huge highlight for me of 2016 was it being able to go to California two times. The first one being for my own wedding and then the second time being for my sister's wedding who got married two weeks after I did. Getting to go to my childhood home and spend time with my family and friends was just incredible. I hadn't been to California for 
over six months before that and I know it's gonna be a long time before I'm gonna get to go there again so that was just wonderful and getting to spend time with my family especially was incredible and was such a highlight of my year as well and in general 2016 just ended up being the most incredible year of my life ever I just came to know myself so much better as a person and I made so many wonderful friends here on from booktube and from the vlog channel that it blows my mind I know so many people and I'm friends with so many people on here now that is incredible and I have so many people that I can just talk to about any subject in the world and that is phenomenal to me and in general I just want to say thank you for sticking with me even though my upload schedule on this channel hasn't been very consistent I appreciate you coming back and watching my videos every time and just caring about what I have to say and having conversations with me and it absolutely made my whole year getting to film videos for you guys and to have the conversations that we do have. It just is absolutely incredible and I look forward to posting videos to be able to have the conversations in the chat below. And I look forward to posting videos so that I can have the conversations with you about all the books. So thank you for making 2016 so absolutely special both on this channel and on my vlog channel. It means the world to me. It made this year so absolutely incredible and I appreciate every single one of you. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I hope you were able to learn some fun stats about my reading this year that you possibly didn't know before. I would love to hear any reading stats you have down below for the year of 2016 and also just how you felt like your reading and your year went in 2016 as well. And again, the rest of this video will be just every book that I read in 2016 with the star ratings. So if you have any more questions or thoughts about any of those books that you would just like to know more about definitely comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can thank you so much for watching I hope you have an incredible 2017 and I'll see you in my next video bye everyone <music>